Hello and welcome to this very short video where we're going to show you the muscles that are going to be found in the anterior arm. This muscle here is going to be the biceps brachii. The biceps brachii is going to have two heads, bi meaning two steps meaning head. This is going to be the long head which is going to originate from the supraglenoid tubercle. And it's actually going to be intracapsular but extracynovial in relation to the shoulder joint as it passes beneath the transverse ligament. And this is going to be the short head. The short head of the biceps is going to originate from the coracoid process, which also is going to be the origin of this other muscle that you find in the anterior arm, which is going to be the coracobrachialis. Coracobrachialis, however, will insert midway down the shaft of the humerus, whereas the biceps is going to insert onto the radial tuberosity. However, it's also going to have an aponeurosis which inserts onto the skin on the medial uh, aspect of the forearm. Then below the biceps, the muscle that you're going to see, which is in association with uh, the shaft of the humerus, this is going to be the brachialis muscle. The brachialis muscle will originate at about the same level where the coracobrachialis muscle was inserting here. And this brachialis muscle is going to pass or move distally, and remember it's going to form the medial part of the flow of the cubital fossa in this region, as it goes to insert into the coronoid process uh, on the ulnar bone. These three muscles, they are going to be innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve. And for you to be able to visualize the musculocutaneous nerve, it's going to travel between the biceps above and the brachialis muscle below after it would have actually pierced the coracobrachialis in this region. Right? So this is going to be your musculocutaneous nerve. It's going to be muscular in the sense that it's going to innervate the coracobrachialis, then the biceps and the brachialis. Then at the level of the elbow, it's going to pass between the biceps and uh, the brachioradialis as it becomes the lateral cutaneous nerve uh, of the forearm. Right. And also in the anterior arm you expect to find vessels and the vessel that you're going to find there is actually going to be the brachial artery. Right. That's just about it.